Hi guys, it's Nick from TSPROF. Today I got a box with the first digital angle finder designed specifically for sharpening. So let's open it up, assemble it together and find out how to quickly and easily get it calibrated. Let's get into it. Alright, here we have a demountable rod, a small box with axi cube itself, a stationary abrasive stop, a calibration prism, a couple of stroke limiters, springs and a micro USB charger. If Axicube I was transported under minus temperature, it is not recommended to turn it on immediately, but let the angle finder reach the room temperature. The first thing we need to do is assemble the holder. So let's put on the spring, then Axicube and a stationary abrasive stop. Then we need to join the holder with the guide rod. Now let's put a stroke limiter and a spring. As you can see, Axicube I is integrated into the abrasive holder and cannot be used as a separate item because uh, it's a complete construction that helps avoid possible black lashes and imprecisions. Let's set the holder in the tool and it's ready to go. There is no flat plate on the back side now, so it's very convenient and visible when working with the stone of the blade. When turning it up, the first number you see is the remaining charge of the cube. If there is no number displayed after turning it up, that means the tool is discharged. To charge a cube, there is a micro USB charger which is already included in the kit, but you can obviously use any other. It's possible to charge it without dismounting. Complete charge takes up to 2 hours, and this is enough for 6 hours of continuous operation. When you set Axicube Eye for the first time and every time when you change the surface where your sharpening stands on, it's necessary to calibrate the angle finder. So here I have a special um, calibration plate for that, which can be found in the kit. Place the left clamp as close as possible to the frame center and clamp the plate. Make sure that the clamp is in good position and its edge doesn't come out of the clamp and it just fit closely the plate. After that, put axi cube onto the plate and adjust the stroke limiter for convenience and regulation. Then by lowering or raising the lifting unit, adjust axi cube so that it lays on the plate by its entire surface. To turn off the calibration function, press and hold the button for 6 seconds until the indicator begins to flash. Then slightly push the button and Axicube will get calibrated to 14 degrees, which is a standard angle of the calibration prism. Keep in mind that calibration is required only in two cases, when you start using it for the first time and every time when you change a working surface. When repairing, calibration is not required. If a sharpener stays at the same place and you don't move it to another one, there is no need for calibration. However, if it's changed, you will need to go through the same calibration process. In other words, if you put the tool in this closet or somewhere else and then put it back onto the same place, that's fine. The angle remains the same, but if it's a new surface, it won't take much time to calibrate once again. Maximum angle deviation is 0.1 degree, so we're extremely precise. Moreover, it allows us to see the right angle at any point on the knife, because unlike standard angle finders, this one collects the data along the free axis. Thanks to this, we can adjust the angle accordingly or change the position of the knife, so it gives better results in a more convenient way. Sometimes when you work with stones of different thickness, it's necessary to adjust the angle with every different stone taken. With Axicube, it's more comfortable and faster, because you can see the difference right as soon as you put the stone onto the blade. Somehow or other, we all work with wet stones which are moistened with water, so in this case, there is nothing to be worried about, because Axicube Eye is resistant to water splashes and resistant to shaking as well, but it's not completely waterproof. To turn Axicube off, simply push the button. To save battery charge, it has after power off so it turns off after 2 minutes of inaction. If you have previous versions of KO2 or KO3 and you would like to upgrade them with uh, Axicube I, it's possible, but you will need uh, additionally an upgraded lifting mechanism. 
So for more details, contact us directly to understand which sharpener version you have and learn more about possible options. Unfortunately, Axicube is not suitable for CADIT and Blitz so far. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions regarding Axicube I, leave a comment below, drop, a, drop us a message or give us a call. Share your experience using Axicube I in the comments, we'll be happy to know. So if you liked that video, put your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Take care and stay sharp.